Hello, welcome to another proverb and today we're in Proverbs chapter 17. I'm so excited about this because we're studying the word of God and we're looking at these lovely, lovely proverbs and learning something from them and I hope you guys are learning so much just as I am. And today's type title is very interesting. It says the sad side effects of being sad. And I just a disclaimer, please don't be sad about this because being sad is not good. Um, now, having said that, I should say though that uh, being sad is not a sin. Uh, we, we read that Jesus wept, that Jesus was grieved, and these are no more things that happen in life. What's sad though is when one takes these things and enjoys them in a sense, or so, um, makes them a habit, something you continue doing for a long period of time, and you find that it has detrimental impact on your health. So be happy. Don't be sad. Don't worry. Put everything in God's hands. He is your father. He is your savior. Proverbs 17, 22 says, A merry heart doeth good like medicine, but a broken spirit dries the bones. This is so true that those who are happy, uh, those who are glad, those who are cheerful, really are healthful. They are healthy, they are strong, and they just enjoy life. But on the other hand, those who have a broken spirit, now this could be sadness, depression, gloominess, all these things dries the bones. And when I read this, my quest was, is this literal or is this figurative, right? Does really uh, a merry heart, does a merry heart literally, is it really like medicine? And is a broken spirit literally drying the bones? And in my quest for this, I found an interesting quote in one of my favorite books uh, when it comes to psychology and spirituality. It's called Mind, Character and Personality. And that's volume two, page 458, paragraph two. And it says, sadness deadens the circulation in the blood vessels and nerves and also retards the action of the liver. It hinders the process of digestion and of nutrition and has a tendency to dry up the marrow interior substance of the whole system. So it literally uh, just dries up everything. That's what sadness, depression, gloominess, all these things do. But then obviously, I know you won't take this at, at, uh, at uh, face value. You need some evidence and that's why I went on here and studied these things. So the first thing that's mentioned is that sadness deadens the circulation in the blood versus the nerves. And when we study science today, we are told, at least according to author Morton um, Fenger Grown, I believe that's the pronunciation, that it is, commonly, it is common knowledge that there's a connection between the mind and the heart. Depression predicts the development of coronary artery disease and worsens its prognosis. Our study investigated whether depression is also linked with atri atrial fibrillation, which simply means arrhythmia. So today in medical science, we are told that actually there's a correlation between depression and arrhythmia, which is abnormal heartbeats or irregular blood flow, which is essentially what we were told in the quote I first read. But what about this one? It retards the action of the liver. Sadness retards the action of the liver. Wait a minute, how is that even connected? Well, science tells us, according to the University of Edinburgh, that suffering from anxiety or depression could carry an increased risk of death from liver disease. That's what the study suggests. The study is the first to identify a possible link between high levels of psychological distress and deaths and deaths uh, resulting from a variety of liver diseases. So definitely depression worsens liver diseases. Depression over time could also lead to liver complications. 
is that study depression and chronic liver diseases are their shared underlying mechanisms you can go check out the study i'll put all the links in the description what about the second one sadness depression gloominess hinders the process of digestion and of nutrition as well because digestion is nutrition and this was like wow interesting no brainer for this one because when you overthinking stressed sad too much blood gushes into your, your brain and too much blood is called into your your nervous your upper nervous central nervous system i should say there's less blood in the in the uh in the gut and what that causes is that there's an imbalance between the healthy and uh, unhealthy bacteria in your blood in your in your gut in your stomach in your gastrointestinal tract and that leads to other complications like uh, irritable bowel syndrome ulcers etc it's crazy right just from over like prolonged periods of sadness a and what's interesting is that these things you can choose to be sad but you can also choose to be happy and sometimes sadness just comes depending on circumstances we're not to neglect being sad but we should know that god is giving a better solution that god will comfort us in our grieving in our sadness and he will give us joy you know there's mourning for a night but joy comes in the morning we keep adding one thing on top of the other we say saying guard your mind with all diligence don't allow evil things to come in but now we're also being told watch out for the emotions make sure you're not too sad harvard health beat says a troubled intestine can send signals to the brain just as a troubled brain can send signals to the gut therefore a person's stomach or intestinal distress can be the cause or the product of anxiety stress or depression that's because the brain and the gastrointestinal gi system gi tract are intimately connected isn't that interesting now the last one which is like wow dries up the marrow my question is is it literal or is it just you know just just a figure of speech well let's read the verse again a merry heart does good like medicine but a broken spirit dries up the bones what is in the bones we know bones contain bone marrow so bone marrow is this spongy tissue inside some of the larger bones it makes the most of the blood cells bone marrow suppression is a, a term that they use to describe few activity in the bone marrow or just simply the production of less blood cells in the marrow so essentially dryness of the bones scientifically could be understood as bra um, bone marrow suppression or male suppression i believe so my question is is this literal and i'll leave that to you guys i'll leave this for your own investigation for your own study but here's where i'm interested in the bible says that in Leviticus 17 11, for the life of the flesh is in the blood and I have given it to you upon the altar to make an atonement for your sins for it is the blood that makes an atonement for the soul. The point of emphasis is that the life is in the blood and the bones, the bone marrow is what produces blood cells which is the largest component of blood. So essentially what the prover uh, proverbialist is saying is that uh, a broken spirit literally dries up your life so just try and be happy jesus christ said be of good cheer i have overcome the world there's no need to worry happiness is medicine research shows that joyful people have less chance of having a heart attack they are more likely to have a healthier blood pressure lower cholesterol weight management decreased stress stress levels and that's from psychology today very interesting stuff but here's what's even more interesting jesus does not promise us just happiness because happiness could be temporal jesus promises to give us eternal joy that does not depend on circumstances around us and this joy is what i invite you to receive today by faith in christ jesus as you renew the commitment you've met to him and if you have not made a commitment to jesus do that today because jesus gives joy he gives more than happiness 
he gives joy. And so this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Thank you. See you tomorrow for another proverb.